Hi, I'm Daryl McIntosh from Artemis Structures. We're a local uh, prefabrication, high energy efficient building company. So this is our factory here in Wollston, where we prefabricate everything fully off site. So this is our cutting bench, which is the first stage of the process. So these are our construction beds, which are mobile. Um, which is where, basically where we construct our wall frames and install our ply as well. So we can build walls from 3 metres up to 13 metres in length. So this is one of our external walls, which is either nailed off with 12mm or 9.5mm uh, H3 ply, and that forms part of our energy efficient structure. So these are our internal walls, which are just a standard pre nail wall, however they are made with uh, LVL. So this is one of our external wall structures. Uh, so once the ply is installed, we install the Proclimate Extisana um, building wrap and we also install the compatible sill tape as well so that it's ready for window installation uh, once it gets to site. We then install the cavity system. So that cavity system is compatible with the project specifications and also the cladding. Uh, we do about 90% of that uh, in the factory so there's very minimal work on site. Um, and that's basically the end, the last phase of our uh, external side. And once that happens and that gets flipped over and then we start the, the internal process. So this is the next phase of production uh, where we install the insulation. So we generally use either Tiralana or Canalf. In this situation we're using Canalf. So once the insulation is installed, we then install our airtight membrane on the inside. So that forms part of a fully airtight envelope once the structure is installed on site. We also install a cavity, uh, service cavity batten. So what you have um, is a, a services cavity area which we can run your services either behind your batten or through the battens. So you've got a much higher R value and a much superior energy efficient wall. Then this is basically stacked aside and ready for transportation. Hi, I'm Isaac Simon. I'm a director at Simon Construction and this is our build at Richmond Hill Sumner. Simon Construction are the main contractor for this architectural build. It's a high performance house and uh, includes a garage and studio which is separate to the main structure. As you can see the boys have just lifted in the uh, tallest panel in the project, uh, the gable end. We've engaged Artemis Structures to produce the prefabricated wall panels and install on site. So the wall panels will be stood and then the ridge, beam and rafters installed on site, creating a fully enclosed weather tight structure. So the mid floor will be installed next, then the remaining wall panels stood, then the roof structure is completed. So we're currently in day two. By the end of today, we should have the mid floor completed and by the end of this week, the roof structure will be finished. Welcome back to Richmond Hill, this is day five. As you can see, progress has been pretty swift. We've now completed all the framing to ground and first floor. The roof structure is almost complete and we are looking to have a completed weather tight structure by the end of today. So the boys are finishing off the bracing at the moment. The uh, last layer of building wrap will be uh, completed over the ridge and the last of the purlins fixed. So from here we'll be installing the roof, the windows will be fitted and we'll be looking at getting underway with the exterior cladding. We've been really impressed at the speed and accuracy of the Artemis wall system. Everything has uh, happened on site as expected with no major problems. Well, 
Welcome back to our Richmond Hill project. Uh, below me to the right you'll see the main house dwelling, which is now completed as far as Artemai are concerned. The boys are standing the Artemai wall structures and the trusses, which we'll hope to have up by the end of the day. Uh, and we will look to have this completed by the end of the week. So behind me, uh, we're just lifting one of the internal gables into position. And also these are the Artemoy wall structures, which you saw in the factory, which we touched on. Uh, so these will be lifted in today as well. So we'll head into the house and we'll have a look at these in more detail. This is one of our Artemoy wall structures right here. As you can see, we've left the bottom portion of insulation out, which is the last 600 mil. So we can easily install our bottom plate connections. Once those are inspected, then we are able to install the rest of the insulation. So the roof's now constructed and ready for pre-roof inspection. Once the roofing cladding is on and also the exterior uh, joinery is installed, the building's weathertight, we'll then install the insulation and also the internal airtight barrier. So these are our service cavity battens. So these are where the services run in behind. Uh, cables or pipes will go in behind. If not, they'll be drilled through, leaving the internal airtight barrier untouched. So this is the roof of the house, which is ready for roof cladding. The difference between this and the conventional is that we, as soon as we've actually installed the rafters or trusses or the roof framing and it's connected in position, we then install the high performance uh, roof underlay. We then also install the counter battens over top, which basically help to protect and hold the, um, the wrap. Then once those are on, then we then install the purlins ready for roofing. So it's great to see the boys make such good progress uh, in quick time for the house. And at the moment we are installing the garage studio, the second building. Uh, we started this morning and in just a few hours they've made some great progress. So we're hoping to have that completed by the end of this week to the same stage as what we're at with the house. Uh, for the last stage of the Artemoy process. The last time we were up here, we had the house structure up. So since then, we've erected that. Uh, we've finished the roof framing uh, and purlins and also installed the roof fully on both buildings. And we've also installed the high performance window and door PVC joinery. Um, and now we're in the last stages of basically making the building airtight on the, internally. And uh, basically that's the end of our process. Fellas, how are we? Hey, you all good? Yeah? yeah? Good on you, mate. You're right. Yeah. How are you, mate? Good. Looking good, though. What do you think? So here we are at the final stage of the process. So the high-performance insulation is now installed in the walls and also in the ceilings. So all junctions are taped to create the airtight barrier. That starts with the floors. So earlier on in the process, you would have noted that we left the last bit of insulation out in the bottom part of the wall. So now that the wall's been connected and inspected, we've installed the last bit of insulation, and now we start with the full airtight membrane. So the first part is to tape up along the bottom plate uh, onto the floor. So once the exterior window and door joinery is installed and also the foam pair rod, we then also continue the airtight membrane by taping right around the perimeter of each frame. So as you can see up here, uh, each lap and the membrane is also taped. That includes the corner junctions and basically every other junction, so therefore that creates the airtight internal envelope. Um, and that's pretty much the end of the process for us. And the only thing left to do then after that is basically just finish the service batten and the timber ceiling battens blocking and then you're ready for jib lining. Hey, I'm Max, I'm the client for this project. Um, I also work quite closely with the builder. This is my first um, home build with my partner Anna. We never wanted to build to the minimum standard. We wanted to make sure that our house and development was always going to be future-proof. So we decided to go down the high-performance route. The reason why we chose Artemis structures was because we knew that they'd be able to deliver all of the uh, high-performance aspects that we were looking for and um, our main concern with going down the high performance route was cost and we also knew that they'd be able to deliver everything at the right budget as well. So far so good, so thanks to Adamai and all the other uh, parties involved. So 
thank you for being part of the journey and allowing us to show you our process. Uh, we believe we have a fantastic product here at Artemis Structures and we definitely think that it's future proofing and it's definitely uh, something that is going to become the norm. So if you are thinking of building an energy efficient and high performance home or any type of structure then please don't hesitate to get in contact with us.